hello guys oh, welcome back to the channel crypto global 100 and uh, today's video is about the wink usdt price here yeah, this is again an updated video you can see here wink usdt on the trading view and the date is 28th of april 2021 and i'm here uh, on the trading view for the win usdt chart so let's expand this chart and let's take a look first take a look at the btc dominant because this is what i do before doing anything else before predicting anything so go to this website place these four charts do the btc dominance and check for the btc dominance you see it was reflected back from here it went up it tested the resistance and went back again so i think the btc dominance is quite on the horizon it needs to retest again this level and uh, then we can say if it comes down this would be good for the altcoins if you go here it's also uh, approaching the top uh, the total resistance the altcoins resistance and if it crosses above this we could we could have a good all seasons ahead all season ahead but if it gets a reflect if it gets rejected from this level from this level you see then alts are going to dump so just wait for this level to break above and also this level to break down once it crosses down we can say that uh, all season has begun uh, for now yesterday due to this downward trend uh, all coins pumped due to this these candles broke the resistance and broke the support and it went down and that's why all coins pumped so if we look at the price you see here the btc almost in the consolidation phase so i am expecting some uh, breakout soon like this you see let me draw the proper trend line from here if we go here see we can see that the, the price is bouncing back you see here making new swing high then making new swing low so two rejections from this trend line one from here two from here so and also on the top and you can see it's make it's moving in this channel okay so if it moves above like this from here we can expect alts as uh, to bounce as well so let's go back to the uh, win usdt i'm gonna go to the daily chart and i'm gonna draw some points here i removed the past resistances so that i can show you uh, live so let's take a look let me draw this level this level will be good because this is the uh closest because this level is not valid for now because it's too uh too high for now so i'm gonna draw uh, till this level so i have this level this is the swing low of the swing high then we're gonna go to this one this is the sorry this was a swing low of swing high and this is the swing uh, low of at the bottom of the swing low okay this is the swing low okay and this is its wick so i'm gonna draw a resistance here okay good so we have a resistance uh we have this as a resistance we have this as a support and you can see right now and let me draw more some more levels for now i'm gonna draw it for now you can see here these wicks are trying to uh, break above so we're gonna draw these wicks on on the low time frames <laughs> so you say you see here if we go to this let me check it this it went down making new swing high we can draw this but it's not validating if we draw this this would be a good reason and uh, let me draw to this here as well this is swing low we can draw here as well so you see here if we go back down it went up so this could be a good reason region as well i'm just drawing the you know the pinpoints not too many not too many resistances now i'm going to go back to the four hour chart 
I'm going to draw some resistances from here. You see it went down, it went up. Okay, now we have some more points here. If we go to the points, let me draw the horizontal one here. And I'm going to draw it from white. And also the swing low of this one would be a good as well. You see here the price you see here it was testing this level here you see here the price was testing this level and it reject and it when it broke down it went down and it was testing on this level as well then it went up it tested this level which was a resistance and then it uh, broke through this level and tested again on the upper side you can see it became the resistance and then it went down again tested this support level gets rejected second time this was the first time this was the second time and then when it went up it again tested this zone then it stayed there and then again so this zone you see this zone is very crucial zone you see the lot of consolidation around here let me show you where I am talking about you see here this is a zone of consolidation here you see a lot of wicks this is like a demand zone here so I'm doing this as a detailed analysis not a quick video so let me draw some more as well let me draw this as well this is one okay so now for now what I'm gonna draw here this could be a good zone as well you see here if we go down to this one yeah this these are fractal zones okay these are fractal zones we have to look after you see here how it is respecting this level okay so when it went up if we go down here this could be a good zone as well this is the body i'm targeting this time i'm targeting the body this one okay you see how Beautifully it is testing this level see here how beautifully how beautifully this is this was testing So you see here sometimes I take the wicks sometimes I take the body. Okay, so that's how things go so that after that you see The price went down tested this level. So why this was tested. Let me go back Let me show you why this one was the reason here you see here how oh, perfectly you see this was a swing high and if we go back here you see here let me show you this one you see how it perfectly tested this level and went up you see here so these zones are very important key zones okay so for now you see here if we look at this this was a swing low as well so I'm gonna draw here so let me draw another zone here at this level would be a perfect one yeah i can call this and i'm gonna make this as a little bit thinner line also let me minimize these so that you can look better the candles okay see here if i go down check just see how it reflected went up okay it tested this level you see here let me show you with what i am talking about here you see these two weeks testing this level this week testing then when it broke down it went up which this was support and now it was a resistance and it went down okay then again it tested above and was again rejected and then it went down testing this level okay it went up and then went down then again it tried to broke this level so we can call that this level is also a zone inside a zone this one so we can draw here as well so let me show you another zone as well these are fractal zones okay so don't get nervous you see here <laughs> these are the zones inside the zones okay you by looking at these zones you can draw the uh, you can observe the take profits and things like that. So now what we have here If we look at the trend here, let me show you with the This zone one rejection 
second rejection third rejection so this is a key zone if we go back here let me draw this zone so that you can have because it was let me show you these two weeks below we can draw this zone as well so let me color it oh that would be good now if we go down this is now I'm more detailed you see here at this zone which was 181 okay this zone has been tested three times one two three okay got it and it was tested as well here four times and got rejected you see let me show you here here it was tested first time second time third time fourth time when once it got rejected it was tested and got rejected went down so if we look at the majors let me show you the major trend here it went down we got rejected so this would be a key area okay we're gonna let's assume it went down it went up this is also a key area it went again down testing the swing high of swing low here we see the trend is making here then again it went up okay again was rejected then again it tested here okay it was rejected second time got it then again fourth time it was tested and with this test it was good volume downside it was volume up but high selling pressure went down here it was a good volume it went broke broke out okay then the downtrend was not supported by the volume here you see the volume was very down and the downtrend was not supported then it went up again with a good volume so it went up very high very quickly it tried to broke his level but couldn't able to broke then again it uh, stayed in the consolidation phase with the normal volume not too much volume so went off what of what happened after that let me let me just remove these ones so that you can have better look so what happened here this was zone it went up went down went up now after it broke through this level okay this was the previous sport okay it broke it went down to test this zone this zone was tested second time this is the sport zone this was a sport zone because it was tested only second time and it went down uh, reje got rejected from here and again it went up okay it went up to test the swing this one here it tested the swing low of swing high and it was again rejected so we can draw here as well another zone if if i look back into the history where could i should i yeah this ones you see here let me show you just let me show you clearly why i want to draw this as a zoom let me show you you see here let me show you this one this was the you know this was the swing low this i'm talking about this candle this is a swing low so i'm gonna draw another zone within a zone here this one you see here and i'm gonna pixelate it style would be the dashed line here if you see here if we if we look at here this was a swing low so i i always told you to look for the swing lows you see this is a swing low and i tested this uh, i draw the line here on the top body part and you see how wonderfully it is testing you see here its rejection this was a rejection then here strong rejections from here then again the strong rejections here and the rejection from here as well so these are multi there are multiple zones you see here this tried to test this level as well so this is also a good zone to test on so now for now we see here what i have drawn right now let me show you see here see this is a perfect zone so this zone is also very important zone you see here as well so three rejections have been done here on this zone here let me show you one attempt second attempt and third attempt okay so it has been rejected three times in a row but also it's making 
the upper trend let me show you this one and uh, let me show you this one if i draw the trend line here you see if let me show you if we go to the body we can let me show you with this one this one will be a good one you see it went up tested this level went down again went up tested you see here so it's like a triangle you see just try to visualize it one back down two consolidation one second time went down so i'm expecting this uprising this one see i'm expecting this trend to be followed in the coming days if we go here this one this one this one this one now i'm expecting a good bounce back then we can say that it's a rising channel although so it can went down as well or it with a good volume if we broke through we cannot test this level this one you see if we look back here but where i am pointing at so for now this trend is going on the uprising wedge see uprising so good volume here you see down there this was a good high increase in volume and the price went up okay after that the price stayed in the consolidation phase this was a consolidation phase and the volume was this volume was very low you see here this one was very low and, and you see the candle is was also very low so after that the price was went down volume was high but due to the uh, large buying pressure at here you see if we go back here good green candle good green candle with the high volumes here high volumes here and this volume was below this volume see that's why it was unable to broke through this level so volume is very important guys very important so what happened after that with decreasing volume the price increased this was not supported i don't think so it was supported then again it stayed in the consolidation phase and then this one was a good building these volumes were good and it showed that now uptrend was supported then again the downtrend with a low volume is not supporting at all i think because with the low volume whenever the price is let me show you the simple example let me show you when the price comes down with a low volume this is not supported cross when the downtrend is coming up with a high volume this is okay okay so just keep it in mind so for now we have this uprising trend so i'm expecting this to in in the future days so i think that's enough for today we need to break through this uh this resistance zone and this zone as well if we go here this is also a good zone but it's not that strong zone you see a lot of wicks lot of wicks making it weaker so we i'm expecting that this zone to be a weaker zone weaker resistance and this to be a strong resistance so it's gonna be we, we're gonna see 175 to 181 would be a good zone okay guys i think the pretty video is pretty long now i'm gonna sign off for now so that's it guys that was the price prediction of wink usdt pair thank you very much